Hello and welcome back to the Play Your Parents thread. This is Bio Enchanted and today we'll be starting Shadow Showdown. Definitely the better of the two games. I quite enjoy this one, especially compared to the last one, because it takes every mechanic that the previous game had and improves upon it tenfold. Of course, one problem the game has is it does not emulate well at all. I think it's because I'm recording from Dolphin, and Dolphin does not like emulation recording much. It panics, and the cutscenes go really weird. So there'll be a lot of artifacting in the cutscenes from that, from the emulator just kind of breaking, so I'm sorry about that. But despite that, you will see the cutscenes are much better directed. So I hope you'll at least be able to put aside the fact that the uh, they look ridiculous, and uh, I just enjoy the actual direction of the cutscenes and how more than, much more dynamic they are. Come on, come on! And now, what you've all been waiting for, the season finale of Crash Nebula! Oh boy, this is going to be the best Crash Nebula ever! Previously on Crash Nebula. I know what happened. Get on with it. And now, the conclusion. Oh boy. It says, in case of emergency, break glass. This is an emergency! All fairies have an emergency wand. I've never used mine, though. I wonder what will happen. Um, oh, oh dear, have you started? You're filming then, are you? Hello, common fairy subjects. My husband and I welcome you to this interactive training film. Newfangled magic. We had to rely on our wits in my day. <laughs> if one is viewing this uh, film, one must be suffering a lack of magic. One should follow the on-screen instructions to learn how to use emergency magic wish stars. That is all. Um, yes, very good. Very good indeed. <clears throat> Carry on. Hey, what's happening? We're in the training movie. I think it's going to teach us to use emergency magic reserves. Wow, that was King Oberon and Queen Titania. I didn't know fairies had a king and queen. We haven't for a long time. This must be a really old movie. But we can't stay here. We've got to fix my TV. How do we get back? I guess we'll just have to follow the instructions. Come on, Timmy. Am I supposed to be uh, as you can see. Let's start with the basics. Try moving around using the control stick. I get this. And the C stick orients my view of the world, right? That's right. And of major importance, you can talk to me and Cosmo whenever you want. Shouldn't that be Cosmo and I? Try talking to us, sweetie. The quality is a visual filter. Although it results, I think, in some of the artifacts still happening so in the actual level as well, which doesn't really happen elsewhere. 
It only really happens here. I'm only kidding. I love to talk. As you can see, the cutscenes are much better direction and much more dynamic and interesting, despite the fact that some of the character models sometimes glitch out like bad, quite badly. My godparents tell me you used to be royalty. Did you fairies bring your godchild into the training film? That's right, Your Ex Majesty. We're trying to fix Timmy's TV so he can watch Crash Nebula. Hmm, very well. Pay attention, Timmy. Now, what was my line? Oh, yes, there are times when wings just get tired. In these situations, you may need to jump. Let's find out how. Now then, jumping is vital to getting around. Let's tackle this staircase. Also, the movement in this game feels a lot better than the last one. It's a lot less stiff and a lot more, uh, Good work. well, a lot more now, fluid in general. Cross these treacherous bookcases. Treacherous bookcase? Who writes this nonsense? For bigger leaps, I like jump some of the jokes in this one a lot more as well. That's right. Ignore the rules of physics and jump twice. That's right. Show us what so you so got. generally just they're more uh, well voiced actors. Like that Did whole you know uh, treacherous bookcases? Who writes this crap? Kind of thing? That's really that amusing. Love it together. Let's go see if she's in a bad mood like Oberon was. Fairy Queen Titania, teach me stuff. Well, one is shocked. Do children no longer have manners? Not anymore. TV is taught that the manners just waste time. Sorry, your fairy ship. Maybe you could teach us about emergency wish stars anyway? If one must, but one will complain to the appropriate authorities. Ahem. Collect three stars to gain one wish. It's as simple as that. I don't see any stars. Wish stars can be frisky. You may have to sprint to catch them. Off you go, filthy little child. Also, Timmy can sprint now, which is nice. And also, you actually get... When you get each wish in the levels, you actually get all three of them at once. It doesn't swap between them at uh, each section of the level you actually have to use them. You actually get all three at once. And sometimes you have to use multiple ones together to solve puzzles. Which is pretty neat, I quite like that. Then push or pull to move the blocks. Watch for movable blocks. They can be used. Grab the star! Two down, one to go! I don't see a star, but that switch looks interesting. This part of the tutorial is of course fairly basic, but it is a tutorial teaching us how to move and how to do all the basic stuff. But there is, mechanically, it gets more interesting later on as you get some of the more mechanically interesting wishes. Switches do all kinds of things, Timmy, such as opening doors or moving objects. To press a switch, bounce it from the air. Also, the wishes in this are much less keys to doors and have much more actual use within the levels in more interesting ways as well. In the usual way, Timmy. Yeah. And you have some thematical, thematic relevance depending on what the level's trying to do as well. I was back in front of a working TV watching Crash Nebula. Oh dear. I'm sorry, Timmy, but wish stars simply aren't that powerful. Think everyday wish, not Sunday best wish. Um, so what can I wish for? You must wish for a magical catapult with which to activate the magic targets. When activated, these targets allow the pupil to leave the training arena. Wow, she's so bossy. If that's the only way out of here, I wish for a magic catapult. I also appreciate that the writing in this game is much better as well. Like that one gag was I had about like the line about think everyday wish, not Sunday best wish. That's a good line. I quite like the way he describes that. You can have up to three wishes at once, but you can only use them one at a time. Remember that? Now punish these targets so we can get out of here. It's like and the wishes feel a lot more like it feels like it's a similar kind of restriction as Steven Universe's uh, mother's room in Steven Universe. The fact that you have to keep it kind of simple. Uh, because it's all it can really handle at the moment. It's a similar thing here, so we have to keep things very simple uh, interactions, and so anything too complex just won't work. Well done, fairy fellow. I, I mean, fellow fairy. You have passed basic training. Your certainly some of the spells have larger implications, but are still mechanically very basic. But we'll see that when we see it. So let's just finish the tutorial first of all, shall we? Well done, Timmy. Goodbye, everyone, Titania. 
what's up with our magic and your TV? Can Emergency Wish Stars fix my TV? I've only missed half of Crash Nebula. We really have to find out why our magic isn't working, Timmy. We should visit Fairy World. But the TV listing says that Crash Nebula is on again tomorrow. Great! I've got 24 hours to fix my TV. There's no time to lose to Fairy World. Um, this looks like Fairy World, but it's even stranger than usual. Oh no, something's wrong. Shh. You don't want Jorgen Von Strangle to hear you, just in case this is our fault. Ha. I'm not scared of Dragon Von Strangle. Are you sure, Puny Fairy? <laughs> hey, we didn't do anything this time. I had considered blaming you anyway, Tiny Timmy Turner, but you are lucky. I already have a suspect. Mr. Von Strangle, sir, we've lost our wish-granting powers. We came here to find out why. All theories are without their powers. My muscular intellect suspects that it has something to do with the missing royal jewel. That's okay, then. Oh, no, wait. That's the worst thing that could happen. Oh, dear. Cosmos Fuse. Royal jewel? Stolen? Why is that so bad? The royal jewel has tremendous magical power. It is the second most powerful magic known to fairies. And am I to guess that it's fallen into the wrong hands? Eh... Uh, this is embarrassing, but I must ask for your help, Tiny Timmy Turner. Well, okay. Anything to fix my TV. What do you want? You must first rescue Fairy World from a devious peril. Come with me and I will show you. I also like the visual gags with stuff like the poof clouds having funny words in them and things like that. That's a really good mainstay the show had that I'm glad they kept over for the I game. Try to recover a stolen magic gem. My prime suspect is a jester named Quince. He worked for Oberon and Titania, our old king and queen. They recently fired him. So, Quince stole the jewel as revenge for losing his job? He took his jesting very seriously. Now he is causing havoc in Fairy World, demanding his old job back. So we have to fix the stuff in Fairy World, find the jester and stop him! With my expert management skills, even your puny trio should succeed. How exactly is Jorgen managing us? By leaving us to manage by ourselves, sweetie! I didn't get any of that. Let's just do stuff and see what happens. This fountain spouts clubs. Weird! So we'll start this level next time because it's, these levels are very long compared to the last game. And so this one will take a good like 30 or 40 minutes to get through. There's a lot to do in this level. So let's save it for now and we'll deal with Quince later. Something to bear in mind though, this game so far, in the very first few cutscenes has had actual foreshadowing and storytelling and direction to it. And that's pretty fun, I'm enjoying that so quite a lot. And I hope you are too. So I'll see you next time as we show why the levels are so much better in Shadow Showdown. Goodbye.